What's up everybody, welcome back. So today we are gonna do a quick arms and abs workout. So today all you need is a set of lighter and then medium-ish dumbbells. So I have threes and fives. You can go twos and threes or maybe a little bit heavier eights for your biceps and stronger muscles, triceps, all that stuff. So we are gonna get started at the back of your mat, feet a little bit wider than your hips. I'll get the music on and we'll warm it up. So we start with a few deep breaths here on the inhale. Sweep both arms up to the ceiling. And then exhale, press away. So already starting to create your own resistance in your body like you're moving through water. Deep breaths, rise it up. Exhale, press it down two more times. Inhale. And exhale. On this one, hold your arms up to the ceiling, shoulders drop down and in. Further find a slight tuck of the tail here, force the to your waist, and then tuck the shoulders to your chest, bone by bone, so you feel down, almost like you're coming down a wall here. Until your fingertips reach the ground, stop bending your knees. Pull the belly button towards the spine, almost like a string attached, and then bone by bone, you feel it back up. So the core should be nice and strong here. Inhale, let it rise up. Exhale again, shake the chest, feel it down. Just like your Pilates roll up, if you could do my Pilates class or other Pilates class. Again, bone by bone, inhaling to rise. And exhaling to feel it down. Just really waking up through the spine, inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Two more times. Inhale up. And exhale down. One more. Bone by bone. Clean space. This time, exhale. Bend your knees enough. You plant your palms down on the ground. Left hand center. Right arm up. Pause for a moment. Draw your left hip back. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Reach through your right fingertips a little bit more. Now a little press back. Press. Press. Gaze is up to your top arm. You have four, three, two. Hold it open again. Reach a little bit longer. And then right hand down. Left arm up again. Pause. Drop back to your left hip. Reach up to your left fingertips. And then extend longer. Really try to open up through your heart. A little press back. Back. Four, three, two. Both hands come down. Plant your palms. Start to walk out to hands and knees first. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Tuck your toes. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Start to float your knees just an inch off the mat. So short plank. One long line. Wrap the shoulder blades down the back. So lats are engaged. Press away from the mat. We're trying to fill the space in your back. And then step your right leg out, left leg out, full plank again, hold. Spread through your fingertips, drag through your thumbs. Traction in and up. So feeling fire. Everything is engaged. Two, five, four, three, two. Hips up and back down. Your dog is starting to pedal out your feet and loosen up. Four, three. Now change it to your plank, and then exhale, downward dog. So inhale, tight plank, create length and strength, and then exhale, hips up and back. Really try and wave through the spine, and then hiking the hips up on the way back. So leading with the belly button to the spine. Again, like I had that string attached. Pull in, heels are heavy. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Hold your plank. Right leg starts to lift. Point through your toes. Take little circles out and around. Left knee is always there if you need it. Four, three, two. Reverse your circle. Take it in and around, in and around. Leading with your inner thigh. Shoulders over your wrists. You have four, three, two. Keep your right leg up. Shoot it again. So you downward dog. Take through the seat. And then exhale. Tight plank. Keeping your right leg lifted the whole time if you can. Pick it up. 
Float it forward. Just two more here. One more time. Hips up. Take it to your plank. Right leg down. Now center your left hand. Start to spin open. Side plank. So feet are either staggered, stacked, or bottom. You can come down for support. One long line. Little pulse. Up and down. Lift and lower. So gazing up at your top arm again, feeling length and strength. Up and down. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. Hold it high on one. Come on back to your center plank. Left leg lifts right away. Little circles in and around. Again, right knee is there if you need it. Circle. Circle. Four. Three. Two, reverse your circle, go out and around, out and around. Hips are steady. You have four, three, hold your left leg lifted, take it to your downward dog, kick through the seat, and then nice, tight plank, take it up, take it forward, trying to keep your left leg steady and strong the whole time. Two more, up. And forward, lift, take it to your tight plank, left leg lowers, tight right hand centers, you spin open, side plank. And you turn your face this way, so one long line, bottom shoulders right, or bottom wrist right under your shoulder, hips are stacked, little pulse. Up and up. Top arm is reaching like you're trying to grab a ring on the ceiling, super strong. Four, three. Two, slowly come back through your center plank. Just hold, five counts right here. Five, four, three, two, and then step or hop your feet between your hands. Go ahead and place your feet flat, knees bent, make sure your weights are right by your side. Inhale, sit nice and tall, hands behind your thighs. And then exhale, start to see her halfway down, ribs to hips. So again, inhale, sit tall. High on the sit bones, spine is long. Exhale, deep breaths. Two more. Hold this one halfway down. Now take a second here to check in with your form and muscle activation. So C curve, you want one long line from the center of your hips through your knees through your toes. So notice if your feet are knocking out or knocking in. Same with your knees. Find that alignment. Drive down through your feet. Find energy. Reach, reach, reach. And then corset your waist, right? Like you're wearing your corset. You notch your strings a little bit tighter. So you're already starting to feel that engagement. Shoulders down and in. Hands are light. No depth grips, right? Keep it relaxed in the upper body. So I start to find an inch here. A little down an inch. Up an inch. Every time you come up an inch, think about curling your wrist over your hips. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Hold this one low. See if you can release your right arm and left arm without changing anything. Again, shoulders down and in. Now nice and slow. Roll by bone, start to roll it down. Go ahead and find your heavier weight. Okay, arms come to a goal post, so elbows behind the shoulders, palms face forward. Wrists again are right over your elbows. Draw your knees in a tabletop. Start with just a chest press here. So take it push and pull. Up and down. Think straight up, legs right over your chest. Now maybe start to add your right leg. So right leg out, pull it in. Out, pull it in. The challenge is to keep your left knee steady and drive energy through your right toes. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Now hold your right leg long. Just hold. Find your corset so you can drop your right leg a little bit lower without changing your pelvis. Yes, just hold. Five. Four, three, two, right foot flat, pull your arms back down, palms face in, elbows tight. So to bridge your hips up, press your weight to the ceiling, and lower down. So push, pull, push, 
Pull. If you need some support for your back, both feet go flat. Push. Pull. Forward here. Forward. Three. Two. Hold it at the top on one. Now, right arm, left leg. Extend out. Pull it in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Again, challenge is to keep your left arm and hip steady. You're only going back a few inches, keeping your corset tight. You should feel this in the right seat, in the core, in your lats. Out, two, in, two. Hold it out, five, four, three, two. Both way to the ceiling, left foot down, roll it down. Open your elbows back up, touch it up here. Push, pull. Start to draw your knees in the tabletop for more of a challenge. Maybe add your left leg. Take it out, take it in. Left leg, not right. <laughs> push, pull, push, pull. Again, energy out your toes, right? Intentions with your movement. Four more. Four. Three. We hold it out. In two. Hold it out. Shoulders down and in. Long toes. See if you can drop your leg a little bit lower. What I don't want to see is this, right? Course it through your waist. Five. Four. Three, two. Left foot flat. Elbows by your side. Single leg bridge. Up. Down. Up. Down. Remember, if you need the support, both feet go flat. You're trying to keep your lowest ribs on the mat and then really focusing through the seat. Push, pull. Four more here. Four. Three. Strong arms. Two. Hold it at the top on one. Left arm, right leg. Extend out. Pull in. Two counts. Take it out. Two, in, two. You're working opposition. Energy from your right toe to your left fingertips. Take it out. Two, in, two. Two more. Right arm, stay strong. Pull this one out. Level out your hips. Try and squeeze a little bit deeper through your left seat. Just hold. Five, four, Three, two, slowly roll your hips down, both feet flat. Place your weight down, go ahead and take an inhale, arms up. Exhale, chin to chest, head, neck, and shoulders up. Now I'm pointing you to, hands come behind your head for support. Otherwise, arms are long. Right knee in the tabletop, left knee in the tabletop. Start to stack your left palm on top of your right. That's going to help you get both shoulders up. Hips are heavy, start to curl up. And down, up, and down. Now rainbow your hands over your knees. Take it over to the left. Right palm stacks on top of your left little curl. Up, down, up, down. We take it side to side right here. So up and over, hold. Up and over, hold, breathe. Try to rainbow your hands over your knees, full shoulders up, hips steady. Right, it's a lot harder this way. Switch your palms, keep going. So left on top of right. Up and over. You have five. Four. Three. Two. And one. You need to have some cool cat to find a few rocks up and down. Come to the top of your mat. Soft bend in your knees. Feet a little bit wider than your hips. Reach your arms out in front of your shoulders. Hips fine. Stretch forward to the bottom. Inhale. Sit tall. Now, just if you're stacked up against the wall, your upper back rounds forward. Your lower back stays up against that wall. And then slowly start to stack it up, bone by bone, just like we did at the beginning of class. Inhale. Exhale. Up and over. Inhale, stack it tall. One more time. Exhale, as you're coming over a big beach ball. And then slowly start to stack your spine. Go ahead and cross your feet. Grab your lighter weight. 
can come on up to standing. So, I want you to try and take both weights in your right hand, left hand comes behind your head, feet a little bit or uh, hip distance, soft bend in your knees, shoulders down in it. Or take a side bend and lift, side bend and lift. So your right shoulder stays locked down and in. Your side bending from your waist, ribs to hips, up and over, up and over. Hold your side bend, just a little pulse. Left elbow is wide, chin is off your chest. You have five, four, three, two, take it back to center on one. Flip your palms, hip bicep curl, extend, bicep curl, extend. So at any point you need to, you go down to one weight, or you go to one of your heavier weights, which is probably a few pounds lighter. In, out. Hand behind your head challenges your core a little bit. If you want even more, knee, put your left knee in the table top. Lift out of your standing leg. In, out. You have four. You pulse it out. In three. In two. Hold it halfway. Just a tiny little pulse. In, in. Yes, keep lengthening, keep squeezing, squeeze, squeeze. Four, three. If the left foot is up, place it down for two. Hinge from your hips. Left arm can come down, right arm reaches out. So to row here, row, extend, row, extend. If you want a little more talent, you can step your left leg back. Great, add your little core element. If you do that, back is flat, neck is long, pull, pull. Your back body initiates this movement. So, maybe even take your left hand, wrap it around like so, and feel your right shoulder blade gliding down and in. Pull, extend. Hold it back, just a little pull. Super strong. You have five, four, three, two. Go ahead and step it forward on one. Switch your weight. So weight's coming your left hand, right hand behind your head. Again, level out your shoulders. Slowly tucking your tail. Take it left, center, left, center. So this movement comes from the obliques. Right, what I don't want to see is the shoulder pulling out of the socket here. So your shoulder stays locked down and in. You side bend from your waist. Up and over. Up and over. Hold it here, little pulse. Imagine your corset tightening every time. You have five, four, three, two. Stand it up tall on one. Flip your palms with five to curl extend. Try and get the full range of motion here. Right, all the way in, all the way out. Squeeze, release. Soften in your knees. Your elbows open. In, out. In, out. Four more. We pulse. Four, three, two. Hold it halfway and level out your shoulders. Tiny little pulse. Squeeze. Please. Keep your right elbow wide. It's still working. You have five, four, three, two. Hinge forward on one. Right arm comes down. Start two. Row, extend. Row, extend. You guys want a little more of a challenge. Right leg steps back. If so, hips are square. Back is flat. Maybe take your right hand around, feel your shoulder again. And initiating the movement. It's easy to pull with your arm all day. It's not easy to leave with the muscle. Glide the shoulder blades like down and in. Hold it up, little pulse. Glide, glide. Tiny little squeeze. 
We have five. We separate our weights in four. In three, two. You come a little bit wider than your hips. Separate your weights. You're still hinge. Elbows up to the ceiling. Try to kick back. Kick it back. Pull it in. Kick it back. Pull it in. Okay, don't be afraid to bend your knees. And then lift your chest. We have the tendency to really round. I want you to open and lengthen. Kick it back. Pull it in. Elbows are high, neck is long. For more of a challenge, try and stop right at your hips. Hold it long, little pulse. Up, up. Time little squeeze. Up and in, up and in. You have five. Take it to a bend stretch. Three, two. Now a tiny softening in your elbows and a big stretch. You ready? Single counts. Just bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Bend, press, bend, press. Yes, yes, yes. Feel the burn right here. Bend, press, bend, press. Elbows a little bit higher. Movement a little bit tighter. You have five, four, three, two. We hold on one again longer. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two. Slowly roll it on up. Place your weight down. Come onto the back of your mat. We got push ups. So inhale, keep your arms up. Exhale, chin the chest, roll it down. Walk it out. Now, hands start directly underneath your shoulders for your tricep push ups. Take a second to step up here, guys. Rotate the creases of your elbows forward. Wrap the shoulder blades down the back. That's what your lats are for. Lock them in. Slightly shift your weight forward. Pull in through the belly. So, what I don't want to see is the sway in the back. Then, in one long line, elbows hug tight, collarbone is wide, neck is long. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, take it down. Exhale, press it up. Really focus on your heart going forward through the gate of your arms. So we're not here, right? Weight is forward and press. You have four. Hands come wide. Three. Two. Last one, maybe a little bit lower. Press it up. Now, thumbs come underneath your shoulder. So if you need to, come here and then place your arms down. I don't want them too wide. You're either on your knees or up in your full plank. Same thing. Elbows drop slightly behind you. Heart goes forward, shoulder blades in, and then press it up. No worries to have the knees down. Get a little more depth. Inhale down. Exhale, press. Keep the core tight. Watch the sway in the lower back as you pull in. Inhale down. Exhale up. Four more. Four. Yes, you can. Here's three. Here's two. One more time. All the way down. All the way up. And then quick slip back in your heels. Let your palms face up. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. All right. Slowly start to come up from here. Make your way onto your belly. So, left arm will go forward, palm faces down. Right fingertips will reach back. Legs are hip distance behind you. Keep your toes down. Belly button towards your spine. Lock the shoulder blades down and in. So it's almost like you're squeezing a pencil behind them. You have an engagement. Inhale, start to float the upper and lower body off the mat. Just hold. Yeah, think about triceps. Squeeze here, strong and straight. Five, four, three. Now bend your elbows, rotate your palms, switch and hold. So now your right palm is down, your left hand tips are long. Again, just stay. Glide the shoulder blades together. Long legs. One more time. Inhale, exhale, switch and hold. Lower down. Once you get to the bottom, take a look to the right. Take a look to the left. And then you switch. Right palm goes down. Left fingertips and reach long. It's like you're holding a marble in your belly button. Pull it in. Inhale. Take so it, float it up. Hips are heavy. You're finding the length. Strong arms. Find your triceps. Neck is long. And then switch. Rotate your palms. Reach. Hold. Good. One more time. 
switch, reach, hold, and then gently lower down. Take a look to the left, take a look to the right, and then start to make your way on to your left side. I'm just doing left first, because I'll be facing you guys. So propping up onto your bottom elbow, legs are gonna come slightly in front of you. Option to grab one of your weights here for a little extra challenge. So top arm reaches up to the ceiling, shoulder down and in, and then start to shift just slightly back so you're kind of on the flesh of your butt, not right on your hip bone. Starting with just the top leg lifts and lowers. Lifts and lowers. So if you're ready for a little bit more, you see if you can start to lift both legs up and down. Lift and lower. So get into your side obliques, lower abs. Take it up, take it down. Deep breaths to get them lifted. See if you can hold this one at the top. Now bend your knees, bend your elbow, shoot it out and reach. So it's a roll back, hold the knees in, and press. So if you need to, you're here, one knee, one arm. Just make sure you keep lifting out of your bottom shoulder. Pull it in, press it out. Two more. Slow it down. Hold it out. Five, four, three, two, and then slowly come on down. Move your way to the other side. So you're holding on to your right now. So spin around. Weight is in your left arm or left hand, right above your shoulder, tapping yourself up. Legs slightly in front of you, single leg. Up, down, up, down. Think about length still, right? So we're trying not to lapse into this. Stay long, stay tight. Maybe you start to take both legs. So it's up, down, up, down. So using your exhale. Four more, four, three, two, pull it up on one, start to bend your knees, pull your elbow back, and then raise it out. Pull it in, two, press it out, two. Try and keep your inner thighs connected, right? Use your adductors. In, two, out, two, two more. One more time, in. To press it out, gently lower down. Make your way onto your back. Place your weight down for a second. Legs separate, hip distance, strong flex in your toes. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Inhale to the top. Exhale, so to feel it up. Big reach past your toes. And then slowly, bone by bone, start to lower down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders up. And then you try not to throw yourself up, right? You breathe through your sticky spot. All oh that on big reach. And then same thing on the way down. Slow bone round. Hip bone scoop. Bone by bone. Once you get to the bottom, grab your weight. This is actually going to help you come up. So inhale to the chest. Exhale. Roll it up. Reach. Now on the way down, you're going to try and float your right leg up. Lower, take two circles, outside, inside, slow the right leg down, roll it up, inhale, exhale, big reach, on the way down, try and lift your left leg, lower, 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 take two circles, inside, outside, lengthen it down, flex, keep that going. Really find control. Right leg up, steady hit. So go in, circle out, lengthen away. Left leg up. Find a circle. In, out, lengthen lower. You got one more each side. Take your time. Keep your arms strong. Middle circle. 
See you next time.